I'm here. Fantastic. Uh, thank you. It was spooky. Uh, anyway, I'm Michael Anderson. I'm an architect. My firm is Anderson Barker Architects. Um, I became an architect because I really didn't like seeing children grow up in poverty. And I just want to learn how to design a variety of type buildings to change our communities. Um, I happen to be the associate architect on the new Clippers project. Um, but I also done a lot of transit studies for Metro, a lot of studies for black and brown communities, but they've never graduated to business strategies to make them change. And so with that, um, I'm going to share what I'm working on. It's a funding strategy to make increased home ownership in black and brown communities, specifically around transit stations. So next. And so, as I said, I'm working, I started working about a year ago on increasing funding or asking the federal government to provide a subsidy for first time buyers to purchase fourplexes in black and brown communities around the transit stations of South Los Angeles and the West Santa Ana branch corridor. Uh, the purpose is to combine transit development with home ownership and use that to replenish the culture of the community in a way that raises the household incomes. We know LA has a housing crisis need, but black and brown workforce cannot afford to purchase a home in their community. So I created some homes in Lemur Park before where I negotiated a 33% equity, and I'm replicating that on a larger scale to happen around 18 transit stations in South Los Angeles and East Los Angeles, and to make possible for a person to put down as little as $55,000 to purchase a home plus three income units. It's based on the Metro studies I was involved in. I was the author of the Crenshaw LAX TLD study. My co-author, Farouk Amin, created the West Santa Ana Branch TLD study. And we use private capital to acquire land in cooperation with governments, entitle those lands for development, and then put out RFPs for developers to build it. These are the transit stations along the corridors that I've been involved with since 2012 through 2019. Um, I'm currently in the process of asking a federal ask of $30 billion to allow 100,000 families, well, excuse me, 50,000 families as first time buyers and 50,000 existing single family homeowners near transit stations to, uh, to acquire accessory dwelling units. The products have been created around the LA low rise development. So the solutions came out of the solutions that were created. These products produce zero carbon emissions and it's a way of putting new development in communities without burdening the existing infrastructure. But this is the formula for home ownership. And the purpose is to allow families to rent to family and friends where we can offset the impact of displacement. <clears throat> this is the deal. I've taken it to the San Francisco Federal Reserve Bank. They're on board. I've introduced the county officials and the federal officials to Senator, Senators Padilla and Feinstein, and we're all working together to have this as a part of the 22 fiscal budget. It'll be a five-year appropriation, but this is the return on investment for the cities and for the county, but most importantly, to generate $2 billion a year in new property tax revenues for the county, where they can purchase bonds to upgrade the infrastructure. Thank you. 